Boys and girls, if you're looking to create content without doing any work or any filming, this is going to be the perfect video for you because I'm going to be walking you through this wild automation as you can see on screen. It is crazy, but the best part is it's going to be super simple and super easy to actually build and it's only going to take you 10 to 15 minutes to be able to automate your entire short form content or any other content you want to post. And it's actually going to do the posting for you all with one click of a button. So just to explain how this works very simply before we build it, it is going to be able to to take any long form URL that you put into this Google Doc or sorry Google Sheets it could be a YouTube video it could be a Spotify podcast it could be anything and it's going to be able to take that YouTube transcript and it's going to be able to turn it into a viral short form script it's then going to actually clone my face and my voice right so you wouldn't be able to tell the difference just to show you how crazy this is and the quality is so good and it's actually identical so you couldn't really tell the difference this video was done by clicking one single button right i just uploaded a url that was one of my long form youtube videos you can see it's this one right here and what this automation did was exactly what i said it would and it essentially cloned me and it made this short form that i'll play for like 10 15 seconds because yeah it's quick this AI tool just made one two hundred dollars overnight while its owner was asleep. Here's how it works. First up is Vector Shift, a game changing free platform to build no code AI agents in minutes. So yeah, that is just a short snippet of it. And obviously you can add captions automatically. You can do everything as well as distributing it to whatever platform you want. So let's jump into how you can actually build this. So there are only three tools you need to build this automation that's going to be able to do what I just walked you through. So the first one is make.com, which is what we're looking at right now. Now, if you aren't familiar with make.com, it is essentially a no code platform where you can build automations it's very simple it's very effective and it's completely free and that's why we absolutely love it because you don't need to put your card info in so that is the first thing that you're going to need the second thing is dumpling ai which is essentially just a youtube transcript generator so you upload a youtube video and this allows it to take that transcript and the reason we do that is because we essentially want to give that information to our seven figure script writer inside make.com to essentially be able to write our short form content as a bit of a content flow so you don't have to record short form content and then post it um so yeah in summary you obviously need make.com dumpling and then you need HeyGen, which is the face cloning voice cloning platform that actually created the uh, video so those are the only three tools so obviously once you yeah get onto make.com which is the absolute first step is to just search it and just create a free account once you log in, and I'm going to walk you through this literally live in 10 minutes, so just get a notepad out. Try and build this actually as I'm doing it because you will learn so much quicker. And information is nothing without implementation. So yeah, obviously do this as I'm doing it. So create a new scenario, and that's just like creating a new automation. It's just a fancy word, you know, it's just a fancy way of saying it. Um, you can call it whatever you want. And the first thing we're going to add is going to be a Google Sheets and watch new rows. So we want it to watch whenever we put a new row into this Google Sheet to be able to then automatically create the short form and post it for us. So once you do that, very simply, just select. Obviously, you need to connect your Google Drive. It's as simple as like you just logging in. So once you click sign in with Google, it will just connect it really, really easy. There's no API key that's needed. And you just select the spreadsheet that you want to essentially um yeah connect to make.com so in this case you can see that it's the long form url so if we just search for long form url we have it right here very easy um i won't spend too much time on this just click sheet one and yeah click save so now you can just leave that as it is and let's add the second thing which is going to be dumpling and i promise you you are literally like almost done if you just watch the next five minutes like it's really not that complex to build um and you, you don't need to know what any of these tools mean you just need to build it once and then now you have an actual content system that you can use yourself or sell so dumpling ai what we want to do is if you look right here we want it to get a youtube transcript so what you're going to do is actually head over to dumpling.ai and it's completely free this doesn't cost anything you just need to get a api key so what that means is when you go here and you click on dumpling you want to find where it says um, YouTube transcript. So get YouTube transcript very simply and you just need to connect your API key, which you can do inside here by clicking on um, API keys and you can very easily um, just get a new API key. It's as simple as that. So once you click create new secret API key, you'll have it and then you can just copy and paste it into here and you're good to go. Um, so for the YouTube video URL, that is obviously gonna be this one. So 
just like that it's going to be able to map it so whenever you place a new euro in here whether it's one of your videos one of you know it could be anything it's obviously going to be able to detect it and run it automatically which is what we want so that is all good um you obviously don't need timestamps in my opinion because we just want to give this to ChatGPT as a bit of a knowledge base so it knows what to actually make these short form videos off and you can just leave it as that so perfect now you have google sheets so it's going to be able to watch whenever you put a new url in there it's going to be able to get that transcript from that video so here is the fun part we can essentially add chat gpt right here or open ai um, and we want to basically do create a completion so what this means is we are basically just asking it to um yeah create us a chat completion it's very simple um, for the model you can select whichever one you want prompt we've essentially said i want you to take the long form video and turn it into a short form viral content based off the topic so follow the hook curiosity gap value comment cta framework and then here is the transcript to base the video off and you just want to select the transcript because that is what it's going to do from this youtube video right so this is all coming together and you're actually almost done after this point it's super super simple um, so all of this can stay the same um, just make sure you give it the transcript and you can obviously change this for whatever prompt you want you may need to play around with it until it gives you a really good output that looks realistic um, with yeah a good hook you know value and then a good cta but obviously you can just copy and paste this you can pause the video and just yeah paste it in so um, that is essentially what we want just make sure you save this as you go that's super important so you don't like i don't know close the tab and then it goes away um, but next what we're going to add is let's actually check the um, automation right here so yeah we're going to actually use HeyGen to clone our own face so how this works is you're going to head over to HeyGen and I'm going to explain so obviously so far make.com is completely free dumpling is completely free hey Jen, you actually get 10 videos per month free and you also get API I think um limits for about 10 videos per month and then obviously above that you have to pay for it um so there are ways around it however it's still very cheap i think it's like 19 dollars a month or something like that to be able to clone your face and have it as a hyper realistic um ai avatar as yourself so that's pretty sick in my opinion um so once you use heygen or open up heygen all you need to do is create a new avatar so how this works is obviously you get these different options. I recommend clicking on hyper realistic avatar. So once you click on that, um, you essentially just need to follow the um, yeah things on screen. So obviously, yeah, I've already got mine because I pay for the yeah creator plan. Um, so yeah, that's that. But um, it, it's honestly pretty simple. You just upload like a two to five minute video of you talking on screen. And it's like, obviously, the better quality you give it, the better quality the AI avatar is going to be of you. But it's, it's as simple as that. You just give it like a two to five minute video of yourself. Um, and then once you do that, what you need to do is obviously go into make.com and you need to search for HeyGen. So HeyGen, click on it. We're going to create an avatar video. So we actually want it to create the video. Um, so yeah, obviously, you need to actually connect it. So how you would do that is very simply go down to, I believe, it is just clicking on your thing right here, go to settings, go to API, and you can see that you have an API key right here. So just copy that and you can go back here and then paste it in. So once you do that, you just need to title the video. This doesn't actually matter at all. You can just call this, um, let's just call it experiment. Test mode, no captions. You can have captions on if you want captions in the video. You can do that if you don't. You don't have to have that. Um, so for the callback ID, that doesn't matter. What we need to do is obviously add an item right here. So for the um, character settings, you're going to click on avatar. Now, once you yeah click on avatar, you obviously need to select your AI avatar. So you'll need to do that first before adding it into make.com. But hopefully this is making sense so far. It, it's really simple and you're actually almost done after this point. Um, so yeah, obviously find your AI avatar. So the reason that it didn't come up there is because I actually realized that I have multiple, um, yeah, different HeyGen connections for some weird reason. So fingers crossed, this might be the right one, or maybe it's the one below this. So it's this one actually, which is annoying because it's the third one. Um, but yeah, that, that's why it may not populate is just because maybe you haven't connected your API key after you've done it. So you can see right here now, now it populates. Um, so avatar scale, you can leave as one avatar style you can have this as empty um, offset leave that as it is matting click no um, just leave this yeah as it is obviously for voice type i recommend doing audio um, and then actually you no. Know, so this is if you want to add like 11 labs so if you want to make this more higher quality you can actually clone your voice in 11 labs 
and it will essentially yeah you, you can add the audio url um here so you can just add as a step before but you want to make it really simple um and just have it as the um the text right so yeah if you go here voice id you'll be able to select um your one so you can see that you can find my one right here which is obviously the voice of the avatar um and then just make sure you do this input text is going to be the result of the actual um yeah pr of, of the output of the prompt that we gave it to convert the long form into the short form hopefully this isn't confusing uh, you may need to watch it back but yeah all of this can say the same background yeah have it as the same um, now this is super super important i need you to have the width and height as let me show you what this would look like so down here you need to have the height or sorry the width and height as 1280 by 720 you must keep it as that because otherwise it won't actually create the video when you look at it in projects so that is super super important um, that you follow this or just leave it as it is um, so yeah all of this is yeah good to go just make sure that yeah this is correct and you've added your avatar here as well as the voice and just click save so as you can see um, sometimes it does that but honestly there's nothing to yeah see it just went away for some weird reason um, but once again click save so you um yeah you're not forgetting it and if we look at what we have to do now it's simply add some sleep uh modules so the reason we do this is very easily we there needs to be time for heyjen to create the video using your ai avatar so we need to let it wait before actually you know going to the next step so we're going to add a wait of 300 seconds and then we can easily just clone this a few times um to have it as 300 and then we're good to go so now it's going to wait you know like i think that's 300 seconds um, I don't know how many minutes that is, Not nor, nor do I want to calculate that in my head. Um, but essentially, yeah, just add a few of them. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be all of them. But um, the next thing we're going to do is click on HeyGen and we're going to get a video. So we are going to retrieve a video by ID. So you can see here that all you needed to do was actually click the uh, map button. So you need to enable the map and then that allows you just to have the video ID. So what that will mean is each time you do a new video, it's not just gonna do the same one because if you do like here, obviously it won't know when to do a new one whenever you run the automation. So just make sure you click video ID and click save. So now that is good to go and we are literally, literally almost done. So we just need to get a file. So that is the HTTP. So let's just add that really quickly. So HTTP, get a file and it is the um, URL of this one, I believe. So data video URL, boom. Let, let me just double check that, that is correct because I don't want to yeah, mislead you guys. So yeah, it's that. And then the final thing is just to do a Google Drive, create a folder. So create a folder and this will make sense. Once again, you don't need to, you don't need to understand why we do this. You just need to like follow me basically. So just make sure that you connect to Google Drive. Sometimes it like expires, um, but now you'll be able to see all your folders. This doesn't really matter um, and just have that as it is. What does matter is the next one, which is going to be Google Drive and then it's going to be upload a file. So yeah, once you click upload a file, it's going to be the folder ID and it's going to be this one right here. So now you are literally good to go. Once again, if it gives you this button, don't, yeah, don't worry because once you click off it, it's good. Now, from this point on, you have finished your automation. If you run this with whatever new URL you want, it will work. Um, so the only thing that's up to your personal preference from this point on is what platforms you actually want to distribute the video to or what I would recommend doing is having it as about 80% automated. Uh, people want to automate 100% of everything, but I think if you can get it to 80%, that is an amazing start because we don't have to worry about ideation. We don't have to worry about setting up a tripod camera to film the content because that's what this is going to solve. We don't have to worry about um, you know a bunch of other things that you could potentially run into if you were having to do all of those two prior tasks. So we've already automated a ton of things. I would recommend putting the actual video that you get from Google Drive either into like Airtable as a URL or into Google Sheets and then you can manually review it. Maybe use a tool like Submagic to actually edit it. But if you want to post it onto social media straight away without checking it, which I wouldn't recommend doing because as I said, I think a bit of a human touch is good. And by the end of 2025, maybe we would have gotten to a point where, you know, there, there'll be AI softwares that can do like full b-roll you know transition cuts sound effects to make it really good without us doing anything but as of now there's not really um a solution for that so i would recommend manually doing that using submagic where they have like ai b-roll um and stuff like that but you just can't really integrate it into it because you can see that 
Um, there's no real like yeah option for sub magic. Um, but once again, you could use cap cut or whatever, and it's still going to save you so much time. But if you wanted to distribute this straight away onto social media, just click on Booter, and you can obviously yeah do whatever you want. So if you search for YouTube, let's search for YouTube. You can upload a video right here, and just make sure that you connect your YouTube account. Super simple. Uh, title of the video. You can obviously have that as you know whatever you want. Um, obviously to you know you, you ideally map it so you could have it as the um, file name or the um, yeah maybe you could even ask ChatGPT to create you a a title for it. Um, but let's just call this you know experiment to keep it simple. Um, but obviously you'd need to actually, and that's why I recommend doing this manually just because you don't want to mess it up. Um, so video category obviously put what it is. Same as the um, all of this stuff description. Um, and yeah, obviously it's going to be this file right here that it's going to you know, post. So that explains YouTube. Um, obviously you can do Instagram, so you can do this in your own time, but Instagram, once again, create a real post. It's the same thing. You just need to connect your meta account and then go for the video URL, um, which is actually, I believe this, there's a web share link. So it's this web view link or web content link. I can't remember which one, but this might work. Um, then once again, you have like X, um, I believe you have X in here or Twitter. Maybe if you search Twitter, it'll come up. Um, yeah, so Twitter. I don't know if you can post a video, though. Um, you can create a post. I assume you can. Um, but you can definitely do like LinkedIn and yeah, other stuff. So yeah, that pretty much brings us. So create a user video post. But yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you want this automation completely built for you, as well as about 15 other make.com automations and free girl high level, to actually send cold emails, cold SMS, cold calls, and just have all of my automations all in one place without having to build anything yourself, um, then feel free to join the community. Right now, it's literally the best price it'll ever be. It is going up at, I think, 600 members. So yeah, as I said, it's the best price you may as well hop in there's hundreds of people making money with these automations which is ultimately what it's about because i see so many creators and so many people talk about ai but no one really talks about how to actually make money from it and that is what my community does differently um in a very short yeah summary so yeah hope you enjoyed i don't want to sell you anything though it's completely up to you um just drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe maybe because i'm going to be uploading some bangers on this channel shortly and i'll catch you in the next video put what videos you want in the comments and yeah, take it easy and have an amazing day.